All right, how do you be a GTA agent? Now, very, very interesting topic. Now, in order for you to be a GTA agent, you need to know people, to, to let people know that you are someone very prominent in that location. So there is a series of things or activity events. If you would have followed them through, people would perceive you as a GTA agent. Now, number one. In the GT agent, always tell people what is happening in that location. Now, there are a lot of things you can talk about. So, you're going to get this information. You're going to tell to your clients, put in your IG, put in your social media, EDM blasters, but of one content into many channels. Like example, there is a new land at River Valley. And what is the break even of the land? How much did the, de de uh, the developer bought the land for? What could be the possible future selling price of the property on this land? So when you're able to do this right, you will be perceived and of course you will know your staff I suppose that you will be known as the subject matter expert. So that's one of them. Now, number two. As a GTA agent, you would need to know the surrounding. What are the properties, where are the lease, where are the freehold. So there are actually many tools in the market for you to just by looking on the iPad to know what are the developments along that location. So one of the common mistakes that people make is they do not bother to go and study and kind of internalize all these things. So it's really, really important for you to know where are the freehold, where are the leasehold, and also um, what are the new developments, unsold property. And when you know all these things, when you speak to someone, be it a buyer or a seller, you definitely portray a strong confidence for those people who actually talk to you. Now, number three. Amenities. Now, as a GT agent, you would know what are the amenities along that location, where are the shopping centres, where are the mall, where are the government buildings. <laughs> now, when you know all this, again, when you talk to the seller and the buyer, they will know that you know your stuff and their confidence with you will be so much more. Alright, um, number four. So, do you know what are the inventory in the market? Who are the seller agent? Who are the buyer agent? What kind of listing do they have? Now, People have been asking me, Bobby, how do you find a good deal? How do I get a feeling? What would that be a formula? I'm going to tell you the secret today. There's no formula in finding a good deal. It is about how much you are familiar in the market. So I share a story with you. You know, a friend, uh, one of my customers, many years ago, one day, one phone call called me. She wants to buy a unit at Amor Park. When she came in, she goes straight to the offer. She knows the price. And after the transaction, I was asking her, why would you buy an Amor Park? Just like this. She told me, I've been looking at this for the past three years. Of course I know the price. The minute when I identify when the price goes below this level, it is a good deal. So what is the message? Is that right? Are there rocket science? Are there formulas that you have to follow to get a good deal? Honestly, no. You just need to be very focused on the inventory. Okay, you need to know who are the people, who are the big players. Okay, next. Are you familiar with who are the GTA agents? Who are those who are active, who are not active? What is the area of focus? Now, a GTA can be big, but which area do you want to start with? One very common mistake, a lot of people, they just jump into it. They want to secure the whole entire place. Now, the whole of District 9, 10, 11, you know it's big, but where do you want to start from? Okay, so with all these things, okay, when you have all this information, kind of like expose yourself, tell people what you can do. So, if that would be a new launch, you need to know where are the new launches what kind of prices and what kind of layout they have. So with all this, when you collate whatever I just mentioned to you, okay, and put it up proper, in a way you disseminate the order, uh, disseminate the information over time, people will know that you are a GT agent. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope these few tips will help you to achieve what you want in your GTA. See you guys.